Hello, my name is Dr. Sakor and I'm one of the veterinarians here at the Potter League Spay and Neuter Clinic. In this video, I'm going to go over your post-operative discharge instructions. You will be given a written copy of these instructions and they can also be found on our website. Please call or email the clinic if you have any questions after watching this video. Your dog just had a major surgery, so you should restrict their activity for the next seven to 10 days. This means no running, jumping, or active playing. Please do not allow your dog to jump on and off furniture or go up and down stairs during this time. Dogs may be taken outside on a leash for bathroom breaks. Some pets may need to be confined to a crate or a small room in the house during this time period. Restricting activity after surgery can be difficult, so please contact us if you think your dog is being too active. Your dog is going home with an e-collar. This collar should be worn at all times for the next 10 to 14 days. Check your dog's incision daily during the healing process. How your pet's incision looks today is considered normal. If you notice any changes, such as bleeding, oozing, exposed tissue, or bruising, please call us. Mild redness and swelling at the incision site can be normal during the first week of healing, especially if your pet is active. Male dogs have an open incision located on the scrotum. A small amount of drainage may be present for a few days, which is normal. Females have a closed incision located on their belly. Unless we tell you otherwise, there are no staples or external sutures that need to be removed. Dissolvable sutures were placed under the skin. Your dog has a green tattoo near the incision site. This is a visual confirmation that the dog was spayed or neutered. Keep the incision clean and dry. Do not bathe your dog or use any topical medications until the incision is completely healed. Please feed your pet a small meal, about half the size of the normal meal when they arrive home. Water should be available at all times. Please continue to feed your pet their regular diet, no new foods or treats during the recovery period. Medication sent home with your pet should be given as directed on the bottle. If your animal is showing significant discomfort postoperatively, please call us. Please do not administer additional medications without consulting a veterinarian. Please follow up with your regular veterinarian for vaccine boosters that may be needed, as well as long-term preventative care. If your pet received a microchip, you will receive an email in the next few days. If you are concerned about your pet, please call us immediately. If we are closed, please contact your local emergency clinic. Reasons to seek immediate medical care include difficulty standing, severe vomiting and diarrhea, and lethargy lasting more than one day. If you have any more questions or concerns, please contact us. Recheck appointments are available Monday through Friday by appointment. Thank you for choosing the Potter League Spay and Neuter Clinic. With your help, we can improve pet health and reduce overpopulation.